Yeah, Book of Tov, today's daf is daf nun beis in nazir, as we learn for a full shleima for Akiva ben Chaya Rachel. Does the Gemara from the two rats about 10 lines down on the page, the question is, back on the mission of Testament base, we said if a nazir is exposed, obviously if he touches, but even we're talking about here about Ohel, if he's exposed to a kazais from a mess, from a mess, and we described that what's that's that's a kalvachomer if a kazais from a mess, certainly a mess. So we started speaking about different cases where you had a very tiny baby uh, uh, whose limbs were informed yet, etc. Very uh, a special case, or you have uh, a, um, a Rabbi Yossi said that um, uh, if you, there's no kazais basar on the mess, whatever that that was. But we went on to explain that a kazais of netzel of a uh, uh, congealed liquid uh, secretion from the body or a, cor- a, a ladle full of corpse dust that we discussed in detail yesterday. Then the mish went on on a shadow of It's the famous idea, spine or a skull. If he comes in contact, let's say he was an o- under Ohel, under he was o- either overshadowed, he was overshadowed by um, uh, in the same shadow of a, a skull or a, a spine or a skull, shadow of Gulgolas. Um, then he's also has to, uh, he not only is he tome for seven days, but he has to start his Aziris all over again, shave, bring carbonos, etc. Go through the purification process. That's we said, the Mishnah said, Shedro Gogola. So we find that Lashon many times in terms of Tuma. And the question is, is it Shedro El Gogolas? Is it a spine and a skull? That's the real question of today's Da. Are we talking about a spine and a skull that he has to be in contact with in order to force him to start his Aziris all over again and purify? Or Odilma Oshad Ogos, or is it either a spine or a skull? Either one of them is enough to be Matame him in this sense. Amarava. So Rav says, Tashmat Samir proof here. Shedra Shagirat Rovi Lawan Shaba. Let's say he had a spine, most of whose ribs or the vertebra were severed from it. Tahora, that's tar. Uvikever, let's say though, all the pieces are together in a grave. In other words, they're not attached, but the, the grave. The coffin, whatever, or the grave combines them. Even if they're broken off or uh, separated, it's still it's tamei. Because the kever combines them. So if he is mahil over any of them, again, remember here we're talking about being tamei by ol. A nazir or anybody can be tamei mesa either by touching, carrying, or ol. Touching, even we said, is even uh, as even a tiny bean, the size of a bar, a, a tiny uh, bone, the size of a barley bean, is matame by touching, mago masa, touching or carrying. So uh, certainly, but oh well, here we're talking about things that where you didn't touch them, because obviously these these a lot of bones over here. If you touch them, you're for sure tame. Talking about where you were an ol over them, either they were not, they overshadowed you, you overshadowed them, or you were both under the same roof. In all those cases, that's our issue. So we said, Shedro Gogol is fine. Is it one or both? So it says, I mean, Tashma Shedro Shagir of Oshibatara of Kevrafi, which grass and fragrance to me and may I have her. Time is shown to hear it. The whole reason is why is it tar, presumably because you, you've you stripped the uh, spine of its of the ribs. Hello, gear, it's much we needed its tummy. Shema mina O Shedro Gogol. Here you're just talking about a spine. You didn't mention anything about a skull. So you said if you if you've stripped it of the ribs, then it's tar, it's mashma, then it's tame. If you didn't strip it, it doesn't mention anything about gogolas, right? Shmaimina o shed gogolas is either one, it's mashma the shed alone. So you don't need both the shed gogolas and mitamu. So you can snow. How long time you didn't make that deduction? How come mashma is simply telling you the chigira tar? It's just telling you that that the that the, um, the spine, if it's been stripped of most of the ribs. Right, since if it's uh, if it's stripped of most of the ribs, you get of most, most of the ribs. That's tar. Edech the boiler, but the other question remains. Maybe maybe you still need the spine and the skull in order to metamu. But he's telling you if the spine has been stripped of most of its ribs, it's no longer metamu. So our question still stands, as we'll see. The question is: Is do you need the spine and the skull to be metam to metamu boel or either one? Tashma not reviewed Omer. It was a machlokas with the Rabbi Kiva disagreed. Rabbi Kiva was more machmer with the, than the rabbis in six different cases, as we'll see. And in most of those cases, he eventually retracted. But his basic idea was that you don't need one body to, to these things, these parts of the bodies. It's matami. You don't need it from one body, even if the shear was made up from two, two or more bodies, as we'll see. He remember we've had his opinion about 
about the blood already many times on the Fashos, and that he doesn't retract from, as we'll see, but he retracts from the other opinions, and we'll see what they are. Uh, we'll see what they are. But his basic idea is that if it's from two or more people, it's still Tomei, whereas the Rabbanans say, no, it has to come from one person, all the different shirim of the amount of bones, etc. So Toshmer of Yudomer, there are six things that Rabbi Kiva was metame that he said it's it's considered a defilement. The Chacham say it's called a Chazvar Rabbi Kiva, and Rabbi Kiva retracted from them. We'll see, he retracted from most of them. Umay said there was a story. Shevi Kupam Lesav. Listen to the story. There was a there was a uh, they brought a box or a chest full of bones, bones of of, uh, of corpse bones. The basic Knesset shelter sign to the shul. Of the Tersayim. The Tersayim was either a sect, a kind of a, a you know, it was a, a people from that place, or they were weavers. They used to weave the uh, rugs and the uh, things like that, or they were uh, bronze workers. Sorfer and Achoshes Rashi. There's three different opinions. But in any case, there was a shul there by that name. You know, like they have here the, we have the leather worker shuls, you know, the, the, the shul, the shul of these people, that kind of people. So they came to the Shulvin Yechubab, and what happened was, there was a question whether this box of bones is metame yuba oh well. Again, if you touch bones of a corpse, you're tame. We're talking about where you did a bow. They left it outside in the open air so as not to metame the people there if it would be determined that there was really enough bones there to be metame you. So they left it outside until they could determine it. So they brought in some experts who today we call them pathologists. Those days, you know, it was one general doctor. Did, there was no specialization, right? There was one doctor who did everything. He delivered the babies. He was the pathologist. He was the mortician. Cut hair. Cut hair. And full teeth. What? And full teeth. And full teeth. And full teeth. teeth. And drew blood. Everything, right? So, uh, Tudus Arofa, the famous Rafa, came in. They were Chala Rofa, and all the other doctors with him. Ramu, and they decided, Ain Khan Shedra, Mimesacha. There is no spine here of one person. It's a combination. The, even if you find parts of a spine, it's from several people. Oh, so it's just time. You're like a shed. And therefore, they said that it's no problem. If you're oil over it, it's not a problem. You don't have to remain here under the, uh, or, um, uh, you know, because like a shed, but it's mashma. He says there was, it wasn't from one body. Time, you're like a shed. There's no spine here. There's no complete spine from one person here. Time it like a shedder because there's no shedra. The mechad, there's no shedra from one person. Oh, Ika, it's mashma. If there would be a shedder one person, oh, shedra golas. Mashma, either one is good enough. The, uh, the mechada, if it would be a if it would be a spine or a skull of one person, not megalech, not so would, because that was the issue over here. Is the whole fight was about would another shade for them. As we said, your tome, even for less than that, as we'll see in the next Mishnah. But uh, your let's say a robot, some of a, a, a quarter of a kava of bones, uh, your metame. But to shave uh, for Nazar to start all over again and, uh, and, and ruin his first Naziris, that needs a Chatzikav, as we've said. So, uh, but it's Mashra over here. The, the doctor said, no, nah, don't worry about it. There's no, there's no spine here of one person. Mashra could be a spine of one person that would be enough. And so on our question, when the Misha said that a Nazir starts all over again, if he was Tommy with a Shedra or Golas, doesn't mean Shedra or Gogos, or they mean both. Here it's Mashma, oh, Shedra Gogos, because they said, no, nah, it's not even a spine of one person. Mashma, if it would be a spine, it would be dumb. He says, no, lovely boy comer. That doesn't prove anything. The truth is, maybe you need both. Maybe in order to be tummy, you have to be Mahil over a, uh, over a spine and a skull. But lovely boy comer, this is what they told him. There's no question about it. Lovely boy, Shedra Gogos, and they said, like a, there's a, certainly there's no skull and spine of one person in this box. There's no, there's, you don't have both the spine and the skull of one person's box. It's not even any of them. It doesn't mean to say that if there would be the spine or the skull of one of them, that would be Tame. No, not necessarily. So you can't prove it from that story. So, and, and, and they said in the, in the proof, it's a strange Rashi. Rashi says that, that, um, that time it'll be should like a baby, it shows us covered the eight of us and but if there would be the spine, let's say one person, it wouldn't help to leave the the um, it wouldn't help to leave it outside. What do you mean leave it outside? If you leave it outside, then you're not my one. What's the problem? So Tosa says also because what's the issue over here? If they if they if there were a bunch of bones over here, let's say there were spine and skull bones in there, right? In, in this box. But we said before 
that a shedra that you remove most of its bones is uh, is tar. So the answer is that the, so Tosa says it's speaking about where they brought the box, they brought like a coffin or a, or something that whoever took it out of the grave, he was Mahil on the he overshadowed the box when it was in the grave. And he said the grave combines everything together, and therefore it was oil over there. That's they how had just reburied it. Yeah, whatever they did. The, the, the issue is not where they reburied it. The question was uh, there was this box and uh, somebody was mile over it. Maybe he took it out to rebury it, whatever it was, but there were a lot of bones there and uh, they were not They were determining whether it was the bones of one person or more. And the doctor said that there is no complete spine, certainly or a skull of one person in here and therefore there was no problem. But, but there was a problem. Maybe the original guy who took it out you know, in the, who took yeah, it out, he, he was mile, right, he was mile over several things if there was a spine there in the skulls of, of several, again, if it wasn't of one person, uh, if it would have been one person, even if it would have been, if the bones were all separated, that would have been enough, but they said over here, you don't even have the bones and the, of, of, and the skull of one person, and therefore, you weren't mile over a shed row, or goals are certainly both of them, because the shadow goals has to be from one person. Yeah. You said at the beginning of the war that it, even if you had uh, pieces of more than one person, if they were all in one box. No, we, we no, we didn't say if it's if we didn't say if it's more than one person. We said shedrash. Look at the words again at the beginning. Shedrash shegira rovi lo and shabbat tarov and kever afilu mishavev. Even kever, even if it's uh, even if it's uh, the parts are 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 uh, separated, they are. You know, severed from one another, dislocated. Uh, that the kever combines it, but only didn't say if it's more than one person. That's that's the machlokas over here between Rabbi Kiva, at least in the half minute. Rabbi Kiva originally felt that even if it's of several pieces and it, it, people it combines, whether Chum say no, only of one person. And and it, Rabbi Kiva retracted, as we'll see. He retracted in, in most of those issues, except in the case of the blood, as we're going to see now. So we have this question. When we had a Nazir has to, has to restart over again, let's call it, he restarts over again because he became Tame uh, from parts of a body. And it says skull, a spine and skull. Is it spine and skull or either or? Either the spine or the skull of one person at a time in Tashma. So let's try to bring a proof. We're now seven lines from the bottom of the page of the Gemara. Uh, Tashma mi minyana. Look at the number. We're going to try to bring a proof now, not from the Lashon of, of uh, how they said it, but from the number of cases, why? Umahi and Shishitvaram. We said before that we brought a proof that uh, Rabbi, Rabbi Yudha says there were six things Rabbi Kiva was Matan the Chum Matar, and Rabbi Kiva retracted. And there was a story indicating that retraction because the story with Tudas Arofe and the doctor said there's not even the spine of one person in here, and therefore there's no issue. And what were the six things that they argue about? Shabbi Kiva, Umahi and Shishitvaram, Shabbi Kiva, Matan the Chum Matar. What are the six things? Number one, Alegre Ben Ames. Shabbat Mishnei Mesim. If you have an, a, a limb that came from two bodies, how can you have a limb from two bodies? There are limbs that have several bones, two or more bones, like big limbs. So he put they put they put together. Today we know that they can you know they can uh, re they can you know take a bone from one person and put it in another person. They do all these kinds of things, right? They take bone limbs grafts. of one person, put them in another person. So pardon? Bone grafts. Bone grafts, right? Bone grafts. Bone grafts. They do even more. They do entire limbs, right? So. It came from two bodies. Rabbi Kiva says, even from two bodies, it's Tame the Chum say no. It came from two different people. Again, according to Rabbi Kiva, that's Matami, even if it's from two different people, as long as it's not reattached, right? It's Avram Menachai, the guy's alive and took an Avram, but Avram came from two people whose Avram were, 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 were detached and they were combined into one. And Mishnah said, right? Came from two bodies. Rabbi Kiva says it's Tamil Chum Say. It's not. Even Rabbi Yisdam. Mishnah really talked about a Chatsi Log Dam, not a Rabbi But we'll also see Rabbi Kiva holds even for Rabbi Yis and Nazar's Matame. We're making a difference in our Mishnah between a Rabbi and a Chatsi because a Chatsi, a Rabbi is Matame, Matame in general. But for a Nazar to start all over again, you need a Chatsi in our Mishnah. Rabbi Kiva holds even Ravias is enough, and Ravias holds could even come from two people, whereas the, the Chum say it's got to come from one. Now, that's in Kasora. You had a, 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 a body bone the size of a barley bean, right? But And that's Matamayu Bamaga, 
only mag masa not that everybody agrees it's not ba'ol. Shinechel. So this is sort of like out of place here. Shinechel gesham is divided into two. It was split into two, and now you put them back together again. The machlok is about that too. Rabbi Kiva's machmer. In all these cases, Rabbi Kiva says even if they came from two different people or are split up, this matame vashed of a gogolas. Shed of gogolas also. If you had a shed of gogolas, apparently it came from two people, right? That the shed of gogolas came from two people. Rabbi Kiva's machmer, and they said not. But look at the number of cases over here. Avram and Ames, one. Avram and Chai, two. Chatsi Kavatsamas, three. Raviyasnam, four. Esim Kasora, five. Shedul Gogolas, six. Is it six or seven? Shedul Gogolas. If you count Shedul Gogolas as two, that's six and seven. If you count as one. But he says these are the six things. Six things indicates that Shedul Gogolas is one. That shows you need Shedul Gogolas. Says the more at the top of the page. He's out there, the whole Shedul Gogolas. If it means either or, so Hani Shivam, you have seven. Just, just count them up. In other words, the fact that he says that there are six and then he enumerates them, and the last one is Shedron Gogolis, if you count them as two, that's seven, not six. So that indicates that they are one, meaning it's only, you're only Tommy if you if you were exposed to both of them together. The Gemara says no. Um, Gemara says no. Kik Tani Kolecha the Pliga Robin. When he's talking about, the truth is that it's, it could be an either or, but when he counts the six, he only means where where there's a, where Bekiva disagrees with the rabbis with the, with the multitude two or more rabbis against him. We leave out Etzim Kasora. The Yachid the Pulga. It's only an individual who argues in the Tani Etzim Kasora. Shechel the Shnayim who is divided to Bekiva Matame. Rabbi Yochum Menuri Matar. So that's sort of out of place. Etzim Kasora is uh, first of all it's only talking about the Magamas anyway. Everybody nobody holds that it's Matam Ba'ol. And there Bekiva argues with one person of Yochum Menuri. So therefore, that should the way Rashi says it should that should be removed. In other words, really, at, the Shadron and Gogolas are two separate things. Either one is Matami, it could be, it could be. It's no proof, and 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 we have to remove Esim Kesora because that is that's not placed there anyway. Because we're talking about Machlokes between Rabbi Kiva and the rabbis, and here he's only arguing with one rabbi, so we remove that. Rabbi Yochum and Matai. The boys tell you another man. Keep Tani Avram and Ames. Avram and Achai look Tani. Avram and Achai has no place over here. Because we're talking about all parts of a dead body, not parts of a live body, and therefore that should also that should be the one that's removed. In other words, we're moving it down from a total possible of seven to six cases, and therefore, uh, aver, uh, therefore, shedron and gogolos can be two separate things. We're only talking about cases where where nazir shaves for overshadowing them. La puke esim kasora, esim kasora. The low there, it's only mitambo. So therefore, we don't count. count we don't count etzim kasor, either remove it or we don't count that as one of the six. Iboy seima, or I can tell you, kikani kol echad the hutter bay. We're only talking about cases. Really, we are going to include etzim kasor, and we are going to include aver chai. But what are we? What are we excluding? We're only we're talking about cases where Rabbi Kiva disagreed with the rabbis in six cases, and he retracted, and he retracted, but he didn't retract in the case of Vietnam. Where he retracted the Supreme Lapuk of Vietnam, excluding Vietnam, the Loharabe. He never retracted from that. He still maintains his opinion. To Omer Lay, Rebbe, Labakabar, Rebbe told Bakabar, Loshtin or Doshin or Yasma, don't learn that Rabbi Saddam is included in the things that Rebbe, that Rabbi Kiva retracted from. Shari Lumur Shari Kiva, Shari Kiva Biado. He has a famous, uh, his, his line of reasoning is very famous, and as he maintains that, he maintains that Svara. That idea, it's, it's well known that he that he holds that a revius of Dam, even from two different bodies, is Matami, even a revius. You know, the Pusik is Mashman in a way, because we hear the Pusik, I'll call Nafshos Mesloy You remember it says, by Kohen Godel, it says, I'll call Nafshos. Why Nafshos? By Nazar, it says that a Nazar, I'll Nefesh, right? The Nefesh Loy Yitama Bamab. By Kohen Godel, it says, I'll call Nafshos, plural. What is the plural? Teach me, even if it came from two bodies, he's matame. And here Rashi points out, take a look at Rashi on the left side, even here. Um, that's that's the opinion of the rabbis, but the Rabbanan disagree, right? Yeah, take a look at the um, Rashi, but the Rashi before that. Lotishon Rabbi Yisdam Bechazor Shechazor. We get the body law Chazor. But Shalom Olam Ayisavah Shor Rabbi Yisdam Abam Yishev Beisim Matam Ba'ol. He always holds that. But the Chum say you need a Chatsi Lot for a uh, for for the Nazir. Rashi and Amar Aleph. Kol Yishev Matamik. Rashi and Amar Aleph. If you look back on all three lines from the bottom of the page, 
Uh, Rashi is a Raviya Sadama, Bami Mesa Echad, Bemaga Veloba Oel. Udir of Kiva Fila Ba Oel. Okay, Raviya Sadama Veloba Oel. It's not, it's not, uh, maybe in terms of Raviya Sadama, Bami Mesa Echad, Bemaga Veloba Oel, maybe uh, in the Rabbanan, the uh, Rabbanan, Udir of Kiva Fila Ba Oel. Even Ba Oel, it's Metami, because Raviya Sadama, here we're talking about Baba by Nazar. Uh, by, uh, right, we're talking about Baba Nazar, meaning, that the, that the the, the Reb Kiva the Reb Kiva, here we're talking about the machlokas is really by by two even it comes from two mason the Chum say it's got to come from one mace but how much is matame how, what's the shear um, according to Rabbanan Rabbi Yisnam is not matame is not matame uh, be, be ohel uh, it's not matame ohel meaning um, it's only matame if he touches it maybe but not ohel for uh, for a uh, for a nazir, wouldn't have to start counting all again. But in general, for tuma, even the chumud, I can hold that Rabbi Islam is matame if it came from one body. The, the, that's the main machlokas. Does it come from one body or two bodies? The Rabbi Kiva maintains his opinion when it comes to Rabbi Islam that it's matame uh, for ol even if it came from two people, and it's even matame and nazir they have to start all over again. Whereas the chum probably say only that by a nazir he's got to touch it in order to be tame. That he'd have to start all over again, but for a regular to be tummy for a regular from a mess, a regular person, uh, probably OL of over Rubius would also suffice according to Achaman. In any case, Rabbi Kiva did not retract his opinion. Uh, so uh, Rabbi Shimon Omer, Rabbi Shimon said this about Rabbi Kiva. Listen to this. Ad Yama, how you tummy? Well, that he maintained that opinion. He was matami at all his days while he was alive. I don't know what happened after he died. Maybe when he went upstairs, they corrected him. That's not a very nice thing to say. Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Shimon regretted those kind of words. You know, that's not a nice thing to say. Oh, the rabbi held this. Oh, let's see what happens when he goes upstairs, right? So he regretted this and he and he fasted. The rest of his life, he fasted almost every day. And um, because of that, Pushkarushina um, Vatnei his his teeth became blackened. In other words, he became, he, he was uh, physically impaired uh, because of all his fasting that he took upon himself after regretting the unkind words that he said about uh, about him. I don't know if his teeth had to be removed by Tudashrofi or not, but uh, his teeth were black. And Tashma, back to our question. Do you need the skull and the spine to be exposed to for a nausea to start all over again or not? Tashma, the tiny Bisham Yomim, Robot Samus Manat Summon. When we said Robot Summus for Tuma, Robot Samus need Robot Samus. Not a chasik, a robot, so it's not summoned from multiple bones. Um, shnaim, um, shloshe, two or three bones. But he still says, no, robot, it's got to come from one body, but it's got to come from robot being in most of the structure of the body, or moreover, minion, or most of the bones of the body, 248 bones in the body. All right, Rishua, the Rishua said, you know what, I can, I can uh, make or I can make the opinions of Beis Hillel and Beishamai Jai, I can work, I can work them out together. Why? I can make them sink, put them in sink. Why? Shami said two or three bones is enough. And um, said two or three bones is enough. And the uh, Chams and Beisol seems to say, no, it's got to be most of the structure or most of the number of bones in the body. But how does that, how can that work out with Beisham, with Beisol? Beishami says two or three bones. Beisol says most of the structure. Shekham, I'll tell you how. Either with two shins and one thigh. In other words, that's most of the height of a person is in his is in his legs. So if you take, let's say, we talk about two, three bones, take two, two, th- two, uh, two shins and uh, and one thigh bone, or two thigh bones for shuk on one calf or or shin or shin bone. Uh, that's whole of a rove, a rove the gear so here is whole of a rove binyano shalara mago, but most of the his uh, height comes from there. Right, overall, Binyano Shalada Migova, most of the uh, <coughs> of his structure is in his height here, comes from comes from those bones. So even though Rabbi Shami said two or three bones, and Bikivas and 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 they still rather said most of the structure. Well, there's there are two or three bones that you can make most of the structure come from. Uh, but still, um, says it's got to come from the, from the structure of the body. Omerob Binyano, Omerob Binyan, either most of the structure, most of the Number of bones, how will that work according to base, according to Beishamai, who says two or three? All the Eshin Mafarki Damaglai, just talk about your hands. 
the mifrigid dam. If you talk about the, the joint, number of joints and bones in the hands and the feet, there are many bones in the hands and the feet. So when Beishamay said two or three, uh, that could work out with Beisil because Beisil said most of the bones. Well, most of the bones in the body could be in the hands and the feet. Then he, okay, that's all part of this discussion about what, what constitutes a robot samos. Does it have to be two or three bones? Beisil says it's got to be from most of the structure. Where does the robot have to come from? Shamay Marfil, Etzim and Ashedra, Omenagos, even one bone from the skull, from the spine or the skull. So what do you see? One bone. What does Shamay say? Now, notice Shamay disagrees even with Beis Shamay. Beis Shamay is his students, but Shamay himself said even one bone from the spine or the skull is enough to make him tummy. Uh, right? Beis um, Shamay Omer Rashi says, "Robot Samish Omer Afilu." Even if the robot Samus came from one bone in the skull or the spine, that's enough. So that's a proof that one bone in the in the spine. He says, "Omen Agogos," or from the or from the skull. That shows he's immersed. Can't prove from Shammai. Shani Shammai. Shammai de Mahmet Fei. He's very stringent. We don't know like Shammai. He's very stringent. So the Gemara says, okay, so lift should me now. So why don't you learn from the fact that he's more stringent? He says, time it. Shammai de Mahmer. Reason why Shammai holds one bone from the skull or from the spine of the skull is enough because he's very stringent. Harabonan, but the Mashmur Harabonan, Adik Shargos, according to Harabonan, maybe you need both. Morris says, no, that's not a proof. That's not a good deduction. No, I can't look like you're up on an alert. The Shammai, Elabet Samecha, Dasamina Shedro, Medikalos. The rabbis disagree. They still end by Shammai. Disagree with Shammai that uh, in terms of one bone. Shammai says one bone that came from the Shedra or the Golos, as long as it had a Roba Kav, is, is, uh, it has a sheer measure of, of Roba Kav, a volume measure. That's enough. They argue about one bone from the spine of the skull. But if you have the skull and the spine, maybe one of them is enough. In other words, you want to prove from over here that uh, that Beishamai says it's got to be one bone from the from the skull or the or the spine. Mashba the coin throw up on, and you need both. No, you don't need both. Maybe you just need a whole spine. Uh, maybe you need a whole a spine or a whole skull, but it doesn't prove that you need both. They're arguing is one bone enough? They say one bone's not enough. Beishamai says you need two or three bones. They still says you need Barova Binion, Rova Minion. Fine, you need that's what you need, but uh, uh, it could be um, it could be from the skull or from the spine, right? It may be either either one. If the skull is fine, they have the same tashidas, maybe as Rova Binion, as we'll see. So um, it could it could be but, but if you have a whole a spine or a whole skull, that's that's good enough. You don't know yet that you need two. So again, we can't prove this question when he talks about the spine and skull, it doesn't mean both are one. Boy Ramachama. So he asks a side question now. Robot Thomas Mena Shedmul Golas my what happens if you have a robot says we have established that Shedmul Golas are very important. Those are very important uh, um, uh, parts of the body, right? Those are very important limbs, call them a limb, whatever. Shedmul Golas, the spine or the skull, as we know, those are vital organs. Uh, what about if you have a robot summons from them? My Kitani Chatsi Kavon and Mishnah said that a Nazir, in order to start all over again, needs to be exposed. To, uh, uh, the, uh, to the dead uh, parts, a chatzi kavatz almost a half a kav, hechadik and mishar about that's what come from the other from its other limbs. Avul minshev golos to chamir shon golos are more chamer because they are considered the, the most vital of the most vital uh, organs. A few robot samus, maybe even robot samus is also enough to be tamei. Odumaloshna, we know robot samus is metami a person in general, but for a nazir to start all over again, and mishnah said you need a chatzi kav. Maybe that's only from other limbs, but maybe from the uh, from the spine of the skull, maybe uh, rova is good enough. A quarter is not half of half of uh, chasi is, is a quarter. Maybe that's not a demolition. Or you say there's no difference. I'm a rubber. So rubber brought a proof from the mission itself. The mission says hashed regolos. Okay, isak that the robot some says hashed regolos is tame. The gear says tame. A mission said that if the nazir is exposed to the spine or the skull, and our question is. What about a rova akav that came from the spine or the skull? Is that enough to be tame? If that would be enough to be tame, so say so in the Mishnah. Why talk about a whole skull or a whole spine? Say a robot samus is going to isak that the robot samus does min shedra gulos is tame. So listen now, robot samus about min shedra. Why talk about? How can you talk about is robot samus is good enough? Is robot samus good enough to be tame? If it would be the case, why didn't the Mishnah say hashedra uh, gulos? Mar says, what do you mean? Robot's giving that answer. Well, robo the amar. We're back on Nunam and Aleph. Remember when we first learned the Mishnah? The first was after the Mishnah. Remember, Rameyer died. And um, after he died, his student, Sumchas, pushed his way into Rabbi Yudas Yeshiva. 
And they, Rabir said, don't let them in. They just want to overpower us. They're real smart. They want to overpower us. They want to beat us in arguments. And uh, he said, well, the, and some said, well, the Mishnah said, Rabir said that Nazir's Megaleach, Allah mess, O Kazayas Manes. What kind of a Mishnah is that? If he's Matami for a Kazayas, certainly for a whole mess. So we gave different answers a baby, the limbs weren't. Uh, Rubber said, let's say you have most of the structure of a body, a very small body, tiny body, a robe of just that there's no robot some of there. And that is really a case for Rabu to Omar. Now the Gemara is quoted by Rabu Now our Gemara reads the shed of the low shade than Robot Summers. That's what our Rabu said. But look in the Nusuk Rivan, the low Nitzra Ella, the robe Binyan Rayano. And our Gemara, none of an alf, he didn't say shed of the said robe Binyan, robe Binyano. The Hainanami Kished of the That's like robe Minyan, a robe Binyan is like shed of the They have the same importance. Most of the structure of the body or most of the bones of the body have the same importance like Shadow Golas, the Chiyadarinan, and that's Shain Ben Rabat Samos. In other words, Rava said in our Mishnah, if you have a uh, uh, roast of the structure or most of the bones or most of, let's say, a, a spine of the skull that doesn't have a Rabat Samos, that's what the Mishnah says is Tame. So how can he say over here that's not Tame? The Rabbi says over here, if my mission says that that's not Tame, because it says a whole skull or a whole spine. If a robot summons that came from the Mishnah, enough, why didn't it say so? Uh, but but Rabbi said back in Nunamad Aleph that that is Tame. If he says, if you have a shadow goes, she ain't been robot summons, even if there's no robot summons, it's also Tame if you have a shadow go goes or a robot brilliant. He says, Busser to Shomer Vikiv. Now, here's different gears over here. So, what the gears of the Gra is, he takes out Busser to Shomer Vikiv. He puts in simply that that's according to Beshamai. That that what he said that Amen Rabba Sums is going to come to a shadow of Gosh, Amen Rabba Sums that he said over there is according to Beishamai that holds even one bone is good enough. So you don't need Rabba Sums either. Another shot though, the Rashi learns over here is Basar Shamar Bekiva. That after he heard from a Bekiva, he changed his mind. Take a look at Rashi where the lines get narrow. And Chaim to Mikara Sphere Lake, Rabba Sums Kamiri, Rabba Rabba Sums Kamiri is also Ella, the Basar Shamar Bekiva, Dhamma Shavu Golas, below Amar Rabba Sums, since he didn't say that. In other words, that's not what Rakiva said before was what he thought originally that uh, even didn't have a robot samos, it's robinion, robinion, it's good enough, it's tummy. That's what Rakiva said back on Nun. But now he changed his mind after he saw that Rabakiva retracted. What did we say before? The six things that Rabbi Kiva attracted. One of them was Chatsi Kavat Soma Shabbat Mishnei Mason. The Rabbi Kiva's Matame, the Rabbanan, or Matar. Then what happened? Rabbi Kiva retracted his opinion. He says, no, it's got to come from one body. But even he says Chatsi Kav, not Rova Kav. So therefore, uh, you see that, that he holds that uh, whether it came from Robinian, Robinian, Shedru Gogolas, not good enough unless you had a Chatsi Kav. And therefore, the answer to the, that Rabbi gave is a good answer over here. The question was, Rabbi Samus came to Shadow Golas, is that Tomei or not? And Rabbi said, if that would be the case, so say so in the Mishnah. Why does he talk about Shadow Golas? Say even a Rabbi Kav that came from there. Therefore, otherwise, therefore, it's a proof that uh, that Rabbi Kav is not, Rabbi Kav from the uh, Shadow Golas is not Tomei. All right, tomorrow's Gemara, Tashma, we'll pick it up from here. We'll go and we'll continue this discussion. Have a good day, everybody. Kultu. Kultu.